12 News is your local election headquarters, and we continue bringing you results from our exclusive 12 News Roger Williams University poll. One of the hot button issues emerging in the race for governor, the proposed soccer stadium in Pawtucket that will be funded with at least $60 million in taxpayer money. Good evening. I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Shannon Heggie. With less than four weeks to primary day, we wanted to find out how primary voters felt about the proposal. Target 12 investigator Tim White is here now with the exclusive details. We asked more than 400 likely Democratic primary voters if they favor or oppose taxpayer funding for the so-called Tidewater Landing Project. Many gave it the thumbs down. Chair votes yes. Last month, Governor Dan McKee cast the tie-breaking vote to greenlight a new state funding plan for a waterfront soccer stadium in Pawtucket, bringing the taxpayer tab for the facility to at least $60 million. A new 12 News Roger Williams University poll of likely Democratic primary voters finds 35% favor taxpayer support for the stadium, but a plurality, 44% oppose it, with 19% not sure. Overall, not oh, great news. Not, not great news. With the soccer stadium looking Unpopular 12 News political analyst and pollster Joe Fleming says McKee's Democratic primary challengers have already used it against McKee in public comments in May in paid TV commercials. If they see it as a way to attack Dan McKee on this issue because he was the deciding vote on the loans, they may do that. But Fleming says attack ads can backfire, especially in multi candidate races like this one. If candidate A goes after candidate B, well, you might bring candidate B's numbers down, but the voters may not be going to you. They may go to candidate C, D, or E. And it is a tight race. As we revealed on 12 News at 5, our poll finds if the Democratic primary for governor were held today, 28% of voters would choose Dan McKee, 25% Nellie Gorbea, followed by Helena Folks at 14%, Matt Brown at 8%, and Luis Daniel Munoz at 1%. 21% of the voters are still undecided. Primary day is September 13th. Tim White, 12 News. Tim, thank you, and we have the full results right now online with interactive charts that break down the numbers even further. It's all there for you right now at WPRI.com.